So with lesson 10, what you're going to do is you are going to be creating menus using CSS. And there are no pages in the book to read because this is basically CSS that you guys already know. So you already have the knowledge to create these menus. So what the lecture demo does, it shows you how to use the CSS to create the menus. Um, and quite a few menus are created using unordered lists. So we kind of start with a little review of what an unordered list is and how that looks in your HTML. And then how do I take this unordered list and convert it into a menu? Okay, so this is a very simple menu. So here's my unordered list. And then here's the CSS that converted it. And as I said, this is all CSS that you guys know already. Okay, so basically this walks you through how to create that type of menu. And then uh, we talk a little bit about page layout. So if you're getting into menus, you have to kind of visualize, well, where do I want this navigation menu to display? Where do I want the content to display? So we kind of look at different layouts. And so you can kind of see how that looks, you know, outside of the lecture notes. I set it up like this. And if you right click and do view page source, uh, you can see all the CSS and HTML that was used to create that. Okay, here's another layout, a little bit more complicated. Okay, and so here is uh, the HTML. That is uh, CSS. And so now if you wanted to see this one, you can kind of take a look, and if we right-click and view the source, you can see how that looks in here. To create a sub-menu uh, shows you how to do this, and those little uh, angle brackets here, in case you guys are wondering, this is the HTML that created those. And then down here is uh, the HTML uh, or the CSS that was used to format this. And there's a couple different ways you can do menus. You can uh, do the HTML selectors. And these selectors are nested. So uh, there's nav above the UL. So when it says nav UL UL, what it's referring to is this one. And when we say nav UL UL LI, and then a link, what it's referring to is UL UL LI, and here's the link. So this is what it's targeting. Okay, so here's just another example of a vertical uh, menu with a submenu. Uh, the difference is that instead of nesting all of these selectors, this one is styled with IDs instead. And this is a little simpler, uh, a little easier to understand because we have a menu and a submenu. Okay, and then here's the CSS that we used for that. Now, does it matter to me which one you use? Absolutely not. You guys can either use the one with the nested selectors or you can use IDs. Do whatever makes more sense to you, okay? So uh, I, in your textbook assignment, I am going to have you do it both ways. That way you'll get a feel for how each one works and then you can decide which way you like better. Uh, this is a horizontal navigation bar and quite often menus are horizontal instead of vertical. And so this shows you how to create that horizontal bar. 
And for this, the display set to inline table is how you are getting that uh, horizontal look. So same exact thing using IDs. A little different formatting on that one. And it probably would have looked better if I would have rounded the corners <laughs> on the hover, but I didn't. Um, so then down here, uh, if you wanted a drop down menu, okay, so a horizontal menu with a sub menu, uh, this explains how you would get that effect. And so this is what it's talking about. And we want the horizontal menu with a drop down that doesn't display until you hover over it. So the CSS that is displayed is how we created that effect. Uh, then in menus, quite often you get icons. So um, there are a couple different places you can get icons from. Uh, Font Awesome is one of them. And here's kind of an example of how you could use that. This is a button with a Font Awesome icon inside. And then the other place that you can get it would be Google. Uh, but I believe all of these are Font Awesome examples. So up top here, uh, there are two different places you can go. And Font Awesome 4 is probably the one that you're gonna want to use. They have a new one, uh, I believe it's Font Awesome 5, uh, but you have to register to use Font Awesome 5 and Font Awesome 4, you do not. So these are different categories of icons. And so if you come in here, the nice thing about W3 Schools is it's showing you the actual code that you need to put in your page to create these icons. So this is the Font Awesome library. You absolutely have to have that. And you'll notice you put it in the head section. So you can just copy and paste. And then this would be how you would add one of the icons from that specific library. In this case, they are adding a car. And then you can see, if you just add the car, it looks like this, the first one, but you can apply CSS styling to change the size, to change the color, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is just kind of a little example of different icons. And this first page shows you how to put them in your code. And then you can actually get into each icon itself. And you are gonna be utilizing these uh, in your assignment page. Uh, so this is a really good place to find them. And you can, if you're curious, uh, you can actually go to try it. And all the code you need <laughs> to use is right here. So here's the link that you have to put in the head section. And then it's got several different examples of how to put these into your page. Okay, now the gallery is different. Let me get into that. So here's the gallery. Oh, and now they've got Font Awesome 6. <laughs> so that's new. You can see it's a beta version. Um, free is probably where you guys are gonna wanna go. And you can see they've got quite a few. And for those of you that are familiar with vectors, you can see that this is a vector graphic. Uh, the nice thing about a vector graphic is it's made up of lines and you can increase it or decrease it and the quality stays the same. Uh, here it is actually showing you the code that you need to insert. And what it's not as good about showing you is the library that you need to pull in. And that is why uh, you really should use <laughs> uh, the other site. Because if you do not 
pull in the correct library, um, it won't display the graphic. Okay, so that's something that you need to kind of watch out for. Uh, and the duo tone graphics, I believe, are all part of the pro, and pro you have to pay for. Okay, so free you don't have to pay for, but pro you do. So right now it's only showing the free animals. Okay, so if I click on start using, here you can see it's got what I need. And let's see if we can get the library. Yeah, it's a little tricky to find the library at that site. Okay, so it's kind of, I'm going to leave it up to you guys, you know, which one you want to use, but I would recommend getting them from here. Now, how do you put them in a menu bar? So uh, as far as the styling goes, uh, the styling for this is in a class called Icon Bar. Okay, and you can see that these are actual links that I have to different social media and to a homepage that I've created. Um, and down here is the Icon Bar styling. So this is the Icon Bar class. You can see I've got a width and a background color. And then on the hover, okay, for uh, the links, because each one of these technically is a link, it changes the color. So I've got all of the anchors, all of the links displayed this way. And then I change it on the hover. Okay, and this is kind of the same thing, but horizontal. How would you do this horizontally? This shows you. Now, if you don't want to use Font Awesome, you can use HTML code. Uh, these are called HTML entities, and I already kind of showed you the two angle brackets uh, that we had in one of the menus, but there are HTML entities for lots of other things. So all of these symbols can be created using these HTML um, entities. And then you can see we have additional entities that you can use, even a skull. <laughs> so uh, this is the HTML code here, this first one, um, that you would want to use. And here is an example of a menu bar using HTML entities. So again, W3 Schools is a pretty good reference. There's a couple of different places you can go for these. Okay, so they're calling it miscellaneous symbols, but you can see there's other categories. Lots and lots of symbols. So it very well could be that you can find your uh, symbol that you wanna use here. And the nice thing about this is that, yeah, you don't have to pull in any special library for this, okay? Because you are creating this using HTML. Okay, so you can see there's no library pulled in. Okay, all we're doing is putting in the HTML. So that's kind of the advantage of using an HTML entity. Okay, so this is just another set of symbols. Okay, and then the codes that you need for those. And so if you wanted to check out these other ones, you certainly can. Uh, emojis is new, so you could actually check out those, see if there's any of those that you like. And then if you want different skin tones. So you guys can kind of have fun with this. Uh, between the HTML entities and Font Awesome, you, can, you should have tons of icons that you can add to menus. 
and you will be doing this in your assignments. And the last thing that we're gonna cover is how to create an animated navigation button. So let me show you what they do. Okay, so you hover and they display and you can link, you can click on the links, otherwise they're kind of hidden. And as you can see, we have kind of played with uh, top, which basically sets the location of each of these buttons. And then we've also kind of set them so that they are off the screen. So you can see that we have a left setting of negative 80. And then when we hover, left goes to zero, and that's how it displays. Okay, so you guys will be working with this as well. So the textbook assignment, whoop, wrong link. The textbook assignment lets you practice doing all of these different kinds of menus. So what I've done is I've given you kind of a folder with lots of different pages in it, okay? And so you're going to be converting this into a menu, basically. And so then we go through the CSS code that you need to do that. Okay, and so you'll do it using the nested selectors. Uh, you'll also create a vertical menu using IDs. That gives you an idea of, you know, which one you like better. Uh, then you're going to do a horizontal menu so that we've got a little different folder for you to download for this. Okay, and then there's the code that you're going to add for that. Uh, you'll be adding an icon bar to an existing page. So here is the existing page. And you're going to be adding an icon bar on the bottom. Now you'll notice that this existing page has pull down menus. Okay, so using the same techniques that we have already learned. So if you wanna see how that is done, when you go through the page source, take a look at the HTML. Because in the lab assignment, you are gonna to have to convert your uh, textbook and lab exercises into pull down menus. <laughs> so uh, this is a super reference for that. Okay, and then finally, you are going to be creating uh, those side animated navigation buttons, the ones that are partially displayed and you hover and they come onto the screen. So you're going to do that in this document that you're going to download, and here's the code that you're going to add. And this document tried to make it kind of fun. So this is CSS3 animation down here, and you're going to be adding some buttons along the side. And if you're curious, how did I do those animations? So basically I created a quarter of a circle and then you can see exactly how I did the animation. Okay, and so all of this code is for those animated circles. Okay, there's all sorts of cool stuff you guys can do with CSS3. So this is the textbook assignment. Lab assignment. So for the lab assignment, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be converting your assignment page into a page that has two menu navigation bars. So you're gonna have one for your textbook assignments and one for your lab assignments. So when you hover over the lesson, it should be displaying the uh, different exercises that are in that lesson. Now, one thing I wanna warn you about is when you create these menus, do not make them transparent, okay? You'll notice that I don't have transparency on these. And the reason is that they don't work if you make them transparent. So do not make them transparent. You know, if you want to show the background graphic, you can you know, adjust the width of the textbook assignments and the lab assignments, maybe make them 50% of your page. 
Um, but do not make things uh, transparent uh, because it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't let you select the links. Uh, so this is what you're going to be doing. There's a video that kind of walks you through it. And I've got some code examples in here for you. Uh, then once you get done converting this into a menu, uh, you are gonna add an icon navigation bar to the footer. So again, I've given you some of these resources. I would maybe stay away from Font Awesome 5 um, because you need that Font Awesome account. So I would pretty much stick to Font Awesome 4 or the HTML entities, either one is fine. Uh, this is what mine looks like. And uh, a lot of students simply copy and paste my code. But if you do that, uh, you are going to have to change these links because they should not be linking to my social media. It should be linking to your own stuff. And you have to remember to include the library, which is why it's a better idea for you guys to go in and find your own. Because remember, if you come in here and you find your own, Okay, you can maybe find stuff that is something that you are interested in. And if you go in to try it, you can get that link to the library, plus you can get the code that you need to put in. Okay, after you get that icon bar in, then you can go ahead and update the links on your page and submit everything. So that is lesson 10. So the only really new things in lesson 10 are the icon bars. Um, other than that, all of the CSS that you're using is CSS that you're already familiar with. You're just applying it in a little different way. Um, if you get stuck or you have problems, let me know. Have fun with this and have an awesome week.